So yesterday we talked about how if we got above the 200 SMA in the 15 minute time frame, you know, we could get a reversal. And uh, we had to break at least before build above the previous high. And that was not possible. So what we ended up doing was we, we went above and then went back down. So, well, they, even though we had the reverse head and shoulder here, you know, that was the resistance here. So let's start over. So weekly is still the same, right? Right now what's going to happen is you see we are getting this support here at 60,000, 60, 300. So if we close below the weekly, then that's going to head towards the next target, which is, well, we have a target here, 54, 50, 50 55K, and then another one at about 52K, slightly higher. Let's count the wicks, slightly higher like that, 52, 400, give or take. Now, like I said, it's the weekly is still way too far apart from the two, uh, 21 SMA. So what we want to see is the two, the 21 go like this and price just go sideways, maybe, you know, touch this or if not, then go all the way back up. We don't know. No one knows, right? For sure what's going to happen. Now on the daily, you can see we're really over, oversold. But this can also be pinned by other time frames. And we see here we got a double top here. And the measured move of that would be from the head to the end of it. And then you so you could project it to be at forty about forty nine thousand or forty eight. 48,600 and that's where the 200 SMA is, right? It's, 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 we're too far apart. So we have to get back to the 200, but since we oversold, we'll see how that can turn in the next week or so. And yeah, I mean, not looking good right now. Oh, we just hit back 61 K, but well, actually, well, we look at this we see the four the four hour we're still heading downwards right and yeah so what happened was yesterday we went up to this was this was when we made the video right so we we did have head back and then you see like a a bear flag right here And the measure move will be at fifty nine nine hundred. So we did we did hit the target for the short. Now we at support here. Can we break back above support? Can this hold? And that is key. I also see a falling wedge here, which has a high probability of breaking back above at least to where it starts right it's so we can say it kind of started here and then it's kind of like this right so if, so target would be at least back up to here at uh, 60 67 900 but you see, there's a lot of resistances here. We've got one here. We have another one right here. So 64K, well, of course, there's one down here at 61.6. And another one here, 63.400. Now, this looks also like a sort of a symmetric no not symmetric descending triangle right it tried to break below went back up because it hit support and then now we'll be testing so if we're looking at just at this descending triangle 
and we're gonna go for retest target would be near the previous support right so if we hit 56k we're gonna hit we're gonna go back go back to 60 50 55k now let's look at the the volume profile here see if there's a lot of support here yeah there is support here at 57 so if we do so if we do hit the 57 it's possible we don't know that we have to look at the liquidity but if we do break below 57 we're going to go back to the support you see at uh, 50 55 and uh, 55,000 so that is what's going on right now i don't we don't know we have to see if this falling wedge breaks up or or this descending triangle break down so smaller time frames is the key so one hour we're heading the uh, stochastics heading back up and not much going on to be honest we have a downward swing here for the price action let's do yellow and then the rsi is if you can see this it's actually a hitting um, a bullish divergence let's get rid of the stochastics right now right so that's pointing up and that's pointing down so that could be our daily low right now but the general picture is still you know we have to look at the weekly for the next week or so 15 minute let's see what happens with the 15 minute sounds like a double bottom to me right you see double bottom now the measure move to the double bottom is from the this is just like the M pattern right so if I were to draw it it would look like this and the neck the um, you measure from the top here so the target would be well first of the break back above 61.6 and then the target would be 62k well this 50 minute is actually really bearish because you see the these tight these moving averages are really tight so that's why usually when they're tight it, there's a move right there's a huge one right there so we have to at least close above the 21 and we did can we hold that now we have to target the next the 50 and then the 200 eventually but we're ever overbought too right in the 50 you see unless we they curl up and we can have another move yeah five minute it's overbought as well So for the one minute, one minute we over overbought with retracing. So we can see like a flag right now, right? So you know we can have a flag right here that could help propel us. We did make above the two hundred SMA. That means we could actually hit long here. But again, this is not financial advice. It's just ed education purposes. So we could target our next resistance. So if that does not hold if we bounce back then we're gonna go further down we have a bear flag here at any point in time let's go to 15 minute for any bear flags well that could really well this could potentially be a bear flag right Right, we could, if we fail to get above 61.6, then we're heading back to at least 55, 58K, 
58.4 to be exact. Give or take. So this is what I see for Bitcoin today. Uh, the key level is 61.6. The one minute could help us propel it. And if we get, you know, a rally going, then we could turn the other time frames in our favor. Because the one hour is actually really oversold. It's actually pointing up. So that, the one hour and the one minute for now. All the other time frames are actually really bearish. See the two, the two hour is, well, it's curving kind of, kind of. Same with the three. And the four is just, yeah, it's slightly curving. And yeah, the daily is oversold. Weekly is still got some gas. All right, so this is my take.